What you're about to see is a challenge I did where I spent one second drawing this Lego McLaren F1 car for every like the progress videos got across all of my social media platforms. So I'm going to keep a tally of the day we're on and also a running total of the time that I'd spent working on the drawing. Now it does start off really quite slow, but by day 15 things really start to take off. So without much more to say, let's get straight to the video. So as I said in the beginning, I didn't have a lot of likes, so I didn't particularly want to waste the ones that I had on drawing a grid. So I drew the grid before I started any timer so I could just dive straight into the sketching. Now I want to be honest, I did struggle in the beginning because usually I work in blocks of one hour of drawing time at a time, but this challenge kind of restricted me to only working for 20 minutes or less in these first few days. So I did do a lot of rushing around to make it to a certain standard to try and attract a few more likes so I could spend more time working on it the next day. And doing this meant that some things weren't necessarily in the right place, but I then could come back a bit later and fix them up. And it was a bit annoying that I'd try and get into a drawing flow and then the timer would ring. On day seven, it dawned on me that maybe I could add a twist to the progress videos to hopefully increase the amount of time. So I said that for every comment the video got, I would add an extra 10 seconds of total drawing time. Now this not only increased the total drawing time, but also increased the engagement on the video. So that the algorithm was then like, hey, people are enjoying this video, I'm going to push it to more people, which then led to it getting more likes, which then allowed me to complete the sketch by day eight. Now, if you've watched my how to sketch videos, you'll know that before I can go in with any color, I need to erase the grid lines and also go over the entire sketch with a kneadable eraser. And at the end of day nine, we have our first glimpse of color. Over the next few days, I slowly made my way through the marker base, just jotting in where all the basic patches of color need to go. And this doesn't take too long as I'm being fairly rough here and the marker pigment covers area very quickly. And I can't tell you how much easier this makes the colored pencil work a bit later on, as you already have a roadmap of where everything needs to go and the colored pencils on top will appear a lot more vibrant as they're not being tinted by the white of the paper. I also continue to add twists to the progress videos like two times multipliers, or if you tag Lego, I'll add another 10 seconds or if you share the video I'll add 15 seconds but remember how I said that on day 15 things really started to take off well you'll start to see minifigures appearing in the videos and these are parts of the ultimate twist where I said if you can tell me how many lego minifigures I've hidden in this video I'll add an extra one minute for every correct answer now looking back one minute may have been a bit too much time but overnight I pretty much doubled the total drawing time and if you go back and watch the day 16 video you'll notice that I sound very somber as I was drawing past midnight to make up the time and yeah, it was past my bedtime. But it did allow me to finish the alcohol marker base, the fine liners and make a massive dent on the colored pencil work. However, that video didn't stop there. You see, because people were watching it more than once and then going and commenting, the algorithm thought, oh, people are engaging with this video. I'm going to show it to more people. And it did. And I fell into a massive time debt, which on one hand was a good thing as I now had the time I needed to finish the drawing. But on the other hand was a bit of a bummer because it was no longer a challenge. It was me just drawing it. I actually had a piece of paper with all the hours and I just ticked them off as I did them. Due to the success of the day 16 video, which now has 1.2 million views on Instagram with over 9,000 comments, I made another video just like it on day 21, where I said that if you guess the correct number of minifigures, you'll be entered into a giveaway to win a signed limited edition print of this drawing, which I have linked down in the description. And I mean, the video didn't do as well as the day 16 one, but it was still my best giveaway video ever with over 100,000 organic views. So I guess the lesson here is that if you hide things in the video and ask people to count them, that it will increase the engagement, which will then increase the views. And with all of that said, here is the final result after 36 hours, 23 minutes and 51 seconds over 23 days. I'll have all the materials I used linked down in the description. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you very soon with more drawings just like it.